It was through the George IV gates that the presidential convoy arrived for what must have been for Donald Trump, the most eagerly anticipated part of his visit. On the other side of the quadrangle, the Queen watched and waited patiently to meet her latest visitor from the White House. She, of course, has done this many times before. It might have been a short visit rather than a state one, but still enough time at Windsor Castle to pack in a ceremonial trapping or two. Mr. Trump is an unconventional president for sure, but as they stepped down to inspect the Guard of Honor, he knew not to take the Queen's hand in the way in which he has so many times taken Theresa May's. Once inside, just one image allowed of the Queen, the President and the First Lady before the Queen took her guests for tea in the Oak Room. Of course, for the Queen, Donald Trump is just one of the many, many US presidents she has met before. Barack Obama, the Bushes, Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan. It's a long list. In fact, in her 66-year reign, there have been 13 US presidents, and the Queen has met them all, bar one, right back to Harry Truman. In fact, today's visit might have reminded the Queen of 1982, when she welcomed a Republican president to Windsor who'd been invited by a female Conservative Prime Minister. There were even protests in London to welcome Ronald Reagan, although much smaller than today's. The last time the streets of Windsor had this many people on them, it was for the marriage of Prince Harry and Meghan in May. Today, however, the majority of people are here for an entirely different reason. The placards here were royal themed and mostly polite, but the protesters saw precisely nothing as the Queen's guests for tea came and went by helicopter. It's unlikely the Queen mentioned that units of her household division marching before Donald Trump today once fought in the American War of Independence. Some things, after all, are best kept quiet. And after less than an hour, he was gone. Tea drunk, pictures taken, and for the president, job done.